Hello everyone, Natasha is here. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'll be practicing with you a very gentle and restorative yoga sequence. These very easy and adjusted yoga poses will help you to activate your body's relaxation response. So, in a term, this class will help you to your stress will help you to sleep and to calm your mind and your body in general. So for today's session, I'll be asking you to use one block, the bolster, folded chair and a deep sound breathing. Let's begin. Let's begin our yoga session by sitting actually on our knees in the with the help of a block and the bolster. So I'll be asking you to invert your chair, please, to put it upside down, to take a bolster and place it on the top. I'll take my block to place it under my buttocks in order to get beautiful support for my knees. Up, create a space into your calf muscles, between your calves and your thighs, in order to feel comfortable into your Vajrasana. Your heels will be by the side of your hip joint. Take a nice inhale, exhale, place the chair as close as possible towards you. Grab a bolster and place it next to your spine, in touch, in contact with your spine, and slide and gently lay down peacefully and with the relaxation on the top of your bolster. Slightly and gently squeeze your knees together. If you feel like using a belt to consolidate and to hold your knees together, please go for it. Take a nice inhale, extend your arms above your head and then exhale, interlock and grab your elbows by the side to increase here our lungs capacity. Slightly and gently bring your chin towards your chest, don't put it too high, close your eyes here and just observe your breathing. Take a nice inhale through your nose and then exhale through your nose. Inhale, deep inhale through your nose and then exhale through your nose. Inhale again, deep inhalation. And then exhale. Relax your face. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest. Relax your hips. And stay here for five more breaths. One, two, three. I want to hear your breathing, please. Four, and five. Observe the outside sound and gently open your eyes. Extend your arms above your head. Exhale, bring them by the side of your body. Take a nice inhale, go back into the center and just relax for a while. Grab a bolster and put it away. Here we go. Release the block from your buttocks release your legs forward. Go back onto your knees, take the chair and place it upside down. Here we go, in the front of you. Take a bolster and place it perpendicularly on the chair. Here we go. Step two, step back. Open your feet as wide as your hips portion and it's going to Uttanasana. Take a nice inhale, extend your arms up, exhale, bend forward. Grab your elbows and bring your forehead on the top of that bolster. 
So if you feel like to stand slightly back to create more space for your spine, please go for it. Your forehead is relaxed on the bolster to activate your pituitary gland and your pineal gland. Just observe your breathing. Try to push your buttocks slightly up. And push your body backward in order to feel a nice stretch on the side of your body. And a deep sound breathing. One, keep your face relaxed. Two, three, four, and five. Slightly and gently open your eyes. Extend your arms forward and go all the way up. Exhale, release. Let's go into Rasarita Padottanasana. Open your legs three and a half, even four feet apart. Step away from the chair. Three step back to create a bit space. Big toes in, engage your pelvic floor. Take a nice inhale, stretch both of your arms up. Exhale, push your buttocks back and drop your arms straight on the top of that bolster. Extend your arms as far as you can, hands parallel towards each other. Don't drop your fingers, keep them active. And your forehead on the top of that bolster. Observe your feet, bring your big toes in. Engage your lower back to create a nice curve. Shoulders back. One. Observe your breathing. Two. Relax your face. Three. I don't want you to bring your head down, all right? We keep our head up higher than the heart in order to maintain a nice and peaceful mind and the blood flow into your body. Three. Four. Engage your knees. And five. Slide and gently open your eyes. Inhale, head up. Release your palms. Exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, release your arms. And go back into Samasthiti. And you'll feel totally relaxed and free into your shoulders now. Slightly gently remove the bolster and sit in the front of your chair. First of all, we extend our legs into Dandasana and cross your legs into Svastikasana. Here we go. Up, bring your toes and your feet under your thighs. Here we go. Take a nice inhale, stretch your arms up. Let's go into a twist and then Exhale, bring your left palm above and across the left side of the chair. Inhale and then exhale. Use your arm to up elevate your body in order for you to twist. And look back. Use the chair to push, to push your spine upward and to levitate. One, two, I would like you to breathe. Three, Four, close your eyes to relax your face and immediately your knees will be totally relaxed. And five, inhale, look forward, exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms up and then exhale. It's going to grab with your right palm the side of the chair, place your arm on the floor, open your chest and then exhale, twist. I would like, I don't want you to lean forward, neither backward. I would like you up to use that arm behind your back to elevate that chest. Grab the chair by the side and look back. One, close your eyes. Two, lean slightly towards the chair. Three, four, and five. Well done. Inhale, look to the center. Exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And then exhale. And just relax. Slightly 
gently open your eyes. Put your chair on the side. And grab a bolster, please. And it's going to Upavishta Konasana. So open your legs up as wide as you can. Here we go. Place the bolster forward. Open your knee. Open, open, open in the same line. All right. Grab a block. Place it in the front of you to have an extra support here. Take a nice inhale, stretch both of your arms up, engage your toes, press the back of your knees on the floor, and then exhale, extend your arms forward and bring your forehead on the top of the block. Push your shoulders back. I would like you to keep your fingers engaged and lean slightly forward so your chest is moving towards the floor, forehead on that block. Always visualize your pituitary and the pineal gland here. I would like to hear your breathing because this is one of the most important thing in that sequence. One, two, stay wherever you are, three, reduce any type of movement, four, and five. Inhale, head up, exhale. Inhale, stretch both of your arms up, and then exhale, release. And just relax. Slightly and gently open your eyes. And let's, let's cross our legs. Put your block on the side. Inhale, exhale, up, cross your legs. It's going to Svastikasana, Adho Mukha Svastikasana. Take a nice inhale, stretch both of your arms up and then exhale, lean forward. Lean forward. I would like you to keep your buttocks on the floor. So let me do it in the other way around so you can visualize it. Here we go. And then exhale. So what am I doing is I'm moving my chest towards the floor. My palms are by the side of that bolster and my forehead is on the top. Extend your arms as far as you can without creating tension into your shoulders. Create a space in your stomach within each and every exhalation. Place your palms on the floor and just a deep sound breathing here. One, two, Three, four, and five. Stay there. Six, lean slightly forward. Seven, relax your elbows. Eight, maintain nice and natural breathing through the nose. Slightly and gently observe the outside sound. Slightly and gently open your eyes. Inhale, head up. Exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And then exhale. Relax. Slightly and gently open your eyes. Extend your legs forward. I'll go into Padmasana. I don't mind you to go into Ardha Padmasana or into Svastikasana. It's up to you. Or a full Padmasana. It would depend on your level, depend on your flexibility and your own comfort, please. I'll go into Padmasana. Engage both of your fingers into Dhyana Mudra. Maintain your spine neutral and straight. I don't want to see you up going forward. Keep it back side. Your all last three fingers are together. Close your eyes and just observe your breathing. Normalize your breath. Your heart blood flow.
observe your body from top to the bottom and from bottom to the top. Begin by relaxing your stomach, your chest, your shoulders. Relax your neck, your chin, your cheeks, your eyes, your forehead. Bring an inner smile and just stay connected with your breathing. Stay and be in the present moment by simply observing your breathing. Stay in the here and now. Observing your breathing, either through the movement of your stomach or the air filling into your nostrils. I will recommend you to stay here between 5 to 10 minutes and I'll see you next time on the mat. Namaste.